What's up guys? This is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead of War Let's Play is the Kingdom of Grand Columbia. And in this and in this episode we're attacking this force that sat just west of Algiers and Britain must be on but Britain must have a fairly depleted armed forces at this point, so hopefully um, we should be able to knock them out fairly quickly and secure Algiers in short order. So let's get going. Um, but we're going to have a lot of fights in this episode because we've got a lot of things going on around the world. You know, we've got uh, an invasion of South America to defend. We have the Spanish near Gibraltar to be dealt with. But over time, I believe... Well, <laughs> we're going to suddenly... We're going to get through a lot of action in this episode. Let's, let's just say that. Um, but I would like to take hold of Madrid, knock out the Spanish, and then start to fortify the front, because that is where, if the Austrians can't get to us over across the sea, they will focus on trying to hit us hit us over the land. So my gun line is going to be to the rear, my horse artillery... Sit there for the time being. And then let's... Deploy the troops. Our native block can form the right flank. Frontiersmen on the left. Pikes back up the frontiers. Frontiersmen. Dragoons and light dragoons form up. Are right, well off for the light dragoons. Gracier on the right. How it says deploy. I mean, they're charging immediately, so they must really not like the, the uh, being attacked by quicklime. Excellent hits. They're already wavering. My artillery is going to be focusing on their... My foot artillery is going to focus on their infantry that are dug in. Okay, make ready. Fire. Excellent. Advance the line at speed because they are running. Kill their general. They still have they still have more troops hidden somewhere. Okay, how it's shot folks on the guards. You must have killed the general with a yeah, a bouncing shot. Took him out while well, it was focusing on the artillery. Where are you hiding? There they are. Send my general my semi curiosity to take them out. We're going to commit the, get the colonial lights to commit. Hit the infantry guards, they form square, but we should be able to break that. Bring my native warrior auxiliary up for support. Fold my infantry in on the right flank. Push the musketmen up. Push up in general like this. Mercenaries are broken. Guards are broken. Hit the guerrilla mercenaries. Charge the desert warriors. Should be able to knock them out. They're effectively only militia. Yeah, they're going down fast. Get my general to commit. OK, 
kill the guardsmen. Uh, there we go, we've made player army is on the run. It's only this African native infantry that's attempting to try and engage my cavalry, so we can switch to round shot. Colonial your dragoons smash into this last unit of warriors again. and we've got their cavalry bogged down with our native troops. They're shattered. Excellent. Come on, kill the last of these guardsmen. Damn right, we're going to continue. general actually no 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 go after the horse artillery crew because they're closer get all my artillery to cease fire I mean this army's gonna be obliterated infantry guards are okay but they're functionally not much better than well, I suppose they're, they're, I think they're roughly equivalent to bog standard colonial line they're not they, you know, they have guards in the title but I suppose it's to do with the fact that native infantry is just it's, it's below regular line infantry anyway so the guards bring that standard up a bit but not in a decisive way There is another unit running around on the map, but let's just focus on clearing out some of these that are more readily destroyable. Excellent. African native infantry. There they go. Still, that was a good victory. And a cheap victory as well. It's a win for us, but it's not a... We're not going to have to spend a huge amount of money bringing our forces back. Yep, only two Are troops remaining. In which case, let's demand the surrender of Algiers. Nice. So there they are. Ooh, holy moly. Okay. You guys replenish. Let's repair the government chambers. Let's upgrade the roads. Let's recruit a... A relief column. Recruit a relief column to come in from... Oh yeah, I need to get Cairo Infantry Guards. I need to start churning some of them out. There's more elite troops. Well, let's do that afterwards. Let's one turn a relief column to come up to Algiers to help, help them. And you are going to just try to get back to the coast. You guys have all been given... Actually, yes, actually you guys can... Head that way. I don't actually need to recruit all of these chaps, but I'm still going to start recruiting, start mass recruiting my Royal Cairo Infantry Guards. Okay, so they have in here four heavy first rates that we want to destroy. Okay, I'm going to bring you guys up as reinforcements. This militia unit can occupy Sandy Bay. Then we destroy these troops in the port and then we will evict the navy out into the seas where we can surround and destroy them. Bring more ships into our fleet. And then away we go. We want to keep one of our fleets here to block the, the um, Straits of Gibraltar to prevent anyone from manoeuvring through it that we don't want to. 
Um, but then we do want to push units into the Mediterranean to start raiding Austrian ports. Because we have such an overwhelming superiority, we are going to form our line, force them to come to us, and artillery the bejesus out of them. Excellent position here. Excellent. Put my carabiner up here. Still might get a bit of friendly fire, but that's fine. Round shot. Focus on the Curacier Regiment. Four down in a single strike. As soon as they get within range, I'm going to start using my howitzers to engage the infantry. Glorious looking infantry, though. I do like the Spanish roster. There we go. Unsurprisingly, this is their commander, but our artillery is going to keep on firing. Another three cavalrymen knocked out. Carabiner out on the flank. I will now go down to sixty five. There we go. yet broken so let's speed speed up time a little bit yeah they've come back but I think they've broken again just keep firing at them with our round shot just to try if possible shatter them otherwise just let them run get my heart to pummel these guys with quick climb I just want to see these guys get off the map so they, I know they're just gone. Excellent. <laughs> what about don't skip the cutscene? They're all dead. Four souls. The ground is okay though. Although they have quite a Herculean task ahead of them. Fusiliers, line infantry, everybody's just sat here, ready and waiting. Artillery's hitting. Oh, I was gonna speed I was gonna speed up to get them to the musket line, but nope, that didn't happen. <laughs> okay, that was that was a bit of a mistimed effort uh, on my part. They've retreated in an incredibly inconvenient way, uh, but we can't da can't dwell on that now. Let us engage the Spanish fleet out of the port. So it's those four heavy first rates. They are the danger. Those are what we need to do. Those are what we need to uh, focus on and make sure we deal with. But then once they are captured, that will be very handy for us. Very handy indeed. See, we have a lot of our own heavy first rates. No, 
There we go. Yep, here come our reinforcements. There they are. Leon, Oriente, San Carlos, and Orfeo. They're heading straight towards us. Some of, some of these reinforcements, like HMS Victory, for example, do not want to lose you at all. You, on the other hand, with your fourth rates, can probably stand to run away. Advance. And then these ships advance like so. Just give you order to withdraw already. I don't want your fourth rates in here. Cluttering up the battle space. Sailing. They're all keeping their formations, which are good. Now they do not want to withdraw. Sad, because that means that these guys will permanently occupy the the area. Sure, you guys sail at full sail, otherwise, you're not going to get in. It looks like they're sailing a bomb catch forward. They might suck up some of our broadsides, but for the most part, we'll be good. Fleet is. I mean, if they're not going to withdraw. Although, interestingly. Even though I withdraw them manually, they asked, they've decided that they will never come back. Still, at least we've got. Some decent ships coming in. Bomb catch may get. Well, they can have a bit of a surprise coming their way. Ever so slightly correct our course to improve our field of fire against the enemy. Yeah, that bomb catch just caught a bunch of broadsides from our warships. Keep firing broadside. Some hits against Leon. They keep trying to match their turn. Chain shot might be a better fit. Have you set them on fire? No, you haven't. Good. Chain shot's usually quite good because it's the morale effect on these smaller ships of knocking out sails is pretty big. So they are matching our turn. We 
we do have a detachment of ships that are, that are in a position to cut them off. Bomb catch. Eventually, it's going to get out of here. Surrendered. Keep engaging Leon. Ship for ship, um, they will win. So that's why I want them to heave to and try and cut us off. Try and get these ships in a position to intercept. Sadly, that is against the wind, but it's going to be our best course of action for now. We're getting our own good hits against Leon. You might actually just sail, sail straight towards them to try and minimise the weather gauge, but also put yourself in a position to... Well, they're actually... Eh. Something like here. Who's on fire? Orion's on fire, so let's cease fire while they try to put out the... out the fire. Fire is out. Well, they are turning against the wind. Attach the second part half of my fleet to go straight in. Try get in behind them. Leon's taking is taking a hammering, but then again, so is the front of our column. Hopefully, we can get into a position where we can attempt to cut them off. Here we go. Turning in, all right. Okay, cut this a bit finer. A lot of you not in a position to fire change uh, to fire chain shot just yet Gallagher will be though when they've reloaded I think it's going to be a lot more of you than I think are going to go this way to try to cut them off But these ships are a bit closer up against each other. Their job is to just dismast as much of the enemy formation as they can. It's the foremast of Leon is down. Although you may fire round shot, you're in a bit of a better position to do that.
especially you, you're in a great position to knock out some good to mast from some of these bigger ships. You're going to fire, get ready to play a round shot and broadside against this little brig. Yeah, you're in a good position to shoot. Round shot at Leon. Fifth rate's now out of it. You're going to keep pummeling round shot into that cluster of ships. You're going to manoeuvre and drop anchor because... It'd be mad to not let you do that. We're still going to want some of these ships to come around to support the battle line. You guys just focus on Leon. San Geronimo's gone under. Oriente's main mast is gone. If I get you right in behind them fucking round shot. Although, don't be afraid to fire broadside if your guns are ready. Yeah, Gallagher's in a hard position. in behind and just start knocking out masts. Guns are getting loaded. No! Wait, how did you die? God knows how he died. These ships can just keep firing from range. You can just keep firing round shot from here. Just drop anchor, stay where you are. Scoot you along. Just drop anchor. Just shoot at him. Shoot at Oriente. Going off the more masts. Cut off the tip. The very tippy tap. position and Pamela. Sutherland. You're going to have to start, switch to round shot and just keep on engaging. Rente is on fire. Uh, 
They're all looking very uncomfortable now. Well, you're going to provide some backup against Leon. Now you keep firing chains, you can do still do damage to multiple ships in a row. Wait a minute. You just shot San Geronimo. What are you... Surrendered, but you're just going to barrel into our ship. Don't. How's Leon doing? Leon still, still holding strong. You're putting some good hits into Orfeo. Still a a large floating gun battery. San Carlos is on fire and wavering. Strike your colours, San Carlos. Sutherland pivoting. Holt engage Leon. Yeah, Leon's taking a lot of fire. Here comes victory. Victory can engage Leon. You're going, to, you're going to fire a chain to try and get up and over these two ships. Surrendered! There we go, one last ship remains. Hit right on the deck. You, you sold it. This rate's going over. I believe your admiral's on this ship. He's not up in the fighting tops. Yeah, there's the captain, there's the admiral. Oh, Leon is the last remaining ship, and he's routing. Wondering if it would switch to surrender, or if you if we would get there. Would you like to continue the battle? <laughs> Admiral dodged the bullet there. No, oh, he's dead. No, no, he's good. Lucky old Admiral. Come on, Gallagher. Pivot. Hey. Pursue that rose. Now that's what everyone's gonna do. Long distance broadside. Okay, give everybody. Regardless of your fleet or squadron. I want to try and ungroup them. There we go. Everybody wants this ship.
So we want you to buy a chain shop primarily. Just because, actually, in which case, because they are turning Thunderer. Don't sail around. Get in there. Thunderer, attempt to board. Although you probably want round shot when you're trying to board. If they're going to sail straight into us like this, we want round shot. Because we can get our broadside right ready. And have at you. Oh, it was too late. Turn broadside off. Turn broadside off. Fire. Re-engage. Oh, turn off the boarding. Fire. Re-engage the boarding. The eerie silence. Just a creaking over the rigging. Excellent. So... No, yes, 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 no, no, no. Excellent. You oh, men, get into Sandy es Bay. Babylon. For repairs. ¿Cuál es la orden? Edgar Bull, aboard Victory. Sí, señor. You should be okay sí, for the time being. Preparados. Okay, let's send these ships up to... Are we building a fleet in Portsmouth? No, we are not. Okay, let's send you to Agadir or Agadir. For repairs. You can get to Porto for repairs. Not you already needed, but we've got plenty of ships in the area so we would like to go after you but that will come later um spain only holds madrid so once that's gone it should we should be good all uh, right another thing we want to do is take Uh, are you recruiting? No. This is as far as you've got for now. Take the army. Embark them. Sail them down to Demerara. Oh. Nearly... The problem there. Cool. So, large Spanish army. There is a good navy there that we can try and clear out. A couple of seconds and thirds and lots of garbage. So you guys can help with that. Just pushing and attack him, I think. There's no sense to wait, I believe. Bring the battle to them. Push them south. They may well take our territory um, in a following turn, but we are we're there, ready to take it immediately back. You know, they're not going to be able to hold it for any reasonable length of time, and then their homeland is at threat now as well. So they are doubly in trouble. Yes, my strategic priority is to bottle up, get control of the seas in Europe and just prevent Austria from any sort of trade. So they hold the town. We are going to fight over on the... Yeah, we can fight straight ahead, I suppose it's okay. the artillery in a, at a slightly higher elevation than my line. We, we need to see where their reinforcements come in. Ok, 
good, good, good. We got a lot of cavalry. Oh, it's his form up. Let's bombard them as they leave the town. They have no artillery to speak of. Here are their reinforcements. They have a lot of their own cavalry. Conquistador! Nice. My foot artillery is engaging as planned. My howitzers. Don't worry about their cavalry. We won't just start picking apart their infantry. Although we might go see if we can get a cheeky kill on one of their units. Let's run our cavalry up front here. Ooh, good hit on the Swiss regiment. They're very upset. I hear a charge. The Lancers are charging my line here, it would appear. This regiment of horse wants to have a pop as well. Retarget the quick climbing howitzers. Let's chase them away. Large cavalry action. Charge the dragoons because they've dismounted. There we go. Wait to see where I need to commit my melee troops, although eh, let, let them hit the squares. See if we can annihilate the dragoons. They're shattered, but there's only 30 of them left. Make sure we shatter the Lancer Guards. There they go. The dragoons are defeated. Get my troops out of line. Get my troops out of square and into line. There is a follow up cavalry charge to prevent us from killing the last of their dragoons. We will meet them. Conquistador want to get into a Lugfest with us? That's that's fine by me. Hit them with two lots of quick climb. Keep my cavalry actually back. Keep attacking the regiment of horse. They're shattered. But just potentially kill them because we've got the units surrounded. One last cavalryman got him. Killed the enemy general. We're going to lure in some more cavalry. Let's redirect my howitzer fire against the one unit of line. Oh, good job I didn't charge in too fast. Running around in front of us, 
killed a bunch of their own guys. Let's charge in. Commit them to the fight. With my native warriors. I do like my cavalry, they're already good. Good, they are shattered. Recover. Yeah, I don't think they quite anticipated that sort of loss. Charging against the Lancers. Try to kill as many as we can before they get too far away. Shattered. Perfect. How do you feel about that, Spain? Halberdier Guard were, were a fun unit. Melee infantry with their halberds, as you would expect. Recover. Look at this guy standing over the body of the cavalryman he just took out. He's, he's an absolute psycho. And they're back again. Okay, it looks like, effectively, their cavalry force is just obliterated. Now they're in the... Well, they're at the, at the whims of the howitzers. Shells away against the first foot guards. Advance the grenadiers up so they're on the flank of the Swiss guards. I'll advance my tribal auxiliary to be ready to chase them down and kill them. Quick claim hit on the halberdier guard. Drop new targets. Leah's coming in. Yeah, it's wrist line infantry still in the town. There you go. Really want to thin these halberdier guard out before I send my cavalry in. Targets with my other cavalry. Let's go get him. Wavering. Broken. Some guard unit you, you are. Here comes more reinforcements. Regiment Sophia, line infantry, line infantry, grenadiers. They're just being fed into the meat grinder. Artillery, just ceasefire. make a bit of a general advance. Uh, my uh, mercenaries based after his routing troops a little too far and I didn't really notice. Okay, you try charge the Swiss line primarily. See if you can knock out the rest of the Royal Halberdier Guard. 
start dropping in some extra artillery shots. Let's try go for that now. Keep going for the Swiss line. They're more important. Good quick climb hit. Fusiliers are quite badly depleted. It's only 16 halberdier guard left. Excellent hit on the Swiss line. Okay, let's pull this cavalry unit back. It's only five halberdiers, so it's worth pursuing them. There we go, we got him. Back you go. Their infantry starting to position against us. Right, that's some pretty decisive losses. Hey, more cavalry. Very much want to make maximum use of our artillery. So you have orders to engage, but are not engaging. Ooh, 99-49. Excellent hit. Start to target the the fresher units coming in and potentially put an attack ground order here just to keep attacking this area. So when these units all push down through the gap, they'll start to get attrited. hits. They advanced into the trees, but that will not save them. Ah uh, yes, my reinforcements. Excellent hits. Worst comes to the worst, they will retreat. Well, my guys can retreat towards the guns to maximise their use of. Or maximise the fact they, they've got a li limitless ammunition. Let's see if you guys can actually shoot those horse grenadier guns. Some of them can. Hits. So we've got roughly about half ammunition across the board. Come on, Howard says you've got to keep those barrels. Those barrels are going to be red hot. With the amount of shells going through the air. Keep, keep on pushing them back. Although it looks like they are very much focusing on one particular direction, so we can start to box them in a little bit. The horse grenadier guards are going to start just engaging us conventionally. Group my cavalry together on the left, and then they're going to smash the first regiment of foot. A 
couple of grenadiers have been knocked off there. Horses, okay, right, you guys go in. They're confident, but they're concerned they're under artillery attack. Absolutely flying. So many men routing. Well, screened at guards still engaging. General's bodyguard, couple of units of infantry. I mean, this expat unit is not getting involved. They are very much staying safe towards the back. Engaged by some musketry, but as long as I can kill too many of my own guys, that's fine. I'll bring you in just to provide a little bit of help. We've knocked down a building. Let's go send you guys through the town up to the back. Draw, colonial infantry, also withdraw. Guerrilla mercenaries want to form square. The dragoons want to screw around with my cavalry, but they've not got the, uh, the morale to do so. Pick up the grenadiers. Which look pretty darn smart. All my artillery folks on the general's bodyguard. See if you can take them out. They're unhappy. Oh, shell shells coming in. You guys are going to hurt. Oh, the back of you. Not the sensor of you. Killed the enemy general. Expert gunnery there. Bandoleros and Fusiliers. Fusiliers don't like melee combat. They must have been hidden. Not going to be in a position to form square. Keep killing them. All my foot artillery engaged the expat infantry. This cavalry push out onto the flank. Killing. Under the mercenaries, they've hunkered down towards the back. Well, let's wait to give you guys the order for your last rank is fired. There we go, you've managed to break them. Cavalry smash the Walloon line. Fusiliers are wavering. If we break them, one unit of dragoons, one unit of cavalry is definitely going to go after the. They're going to shoot their pistols at us. Then the Walloon line infantry got some shots on us, but not enough.
My marines will, ki will kill their bandoleros. Keep killing the fusiliers. All my artillery keep engaging their expats. Let's try to kill a few units of this line infantry. Oh, they immediately started wavering after got charged by the militia. They're only bandits. They can't work out what to do. Push some infantry out to provide a bit of a targeting problem for the AI. Eviscerate the rest of the Walloon line. It would be nice to knock, actually knock out some units. You pursue the Grenadiers because they have some way to go. We're not worried about killing the Bandoleros. There's only one Fusilier left and they have been killed. Charge the expats, cease fire across the board. Why are you just stood there? Heroically charge into the centre. They tried to re re rebalance themselves to face the incoming cav threat and it didn't work. We're going to continue just because we've got a bunch of guys to well because there's a lot of uh, there are a lot of individual units on the field in this part of the world so let's try and get rid of some of them at least they're routing through the town but at least you've got a lot of cavalry to actually take them out too bad about the grenadiers they are probably going to escape unless they they elect to run away weirdly. I mean, they did for a bit. No, they... Oh, they still might. Six. Depends where they all are, though. Are they all here? Nope. There's one over here. Get him. Chomp. Nice. And then it's all just on you guys, except for you. See, look, they're both wildly different. The retreating paths are. I mean, luckily now they're all here, so that should be quite quick to tidy them up. Excellent. Now it's all on the general and his one enemy. Nice. Good victory. Good, good victory. Damn good deal. They have, they had 5,398 troops and they now have just less than a thousand. God damn. But yes, they can cause, still hey, cause problems. Soldados, adelante. So for example, I'm going to cancel the building of these things. Because they, they will probably, they may take it and destroy them anyway. So let's just do that. Otherwise, it would just waste our money. Um, plenty of cash. You're just going to go siege the Plains Nations people. This agent is going to go down to... into the jungles of New Spain to understand what's going on here. Adelante, por la corona y la nación. Okay, you're going to recruit... Howitzers, some marines. So that's four things recruited. Two more, in which case you're going to get a household cavalry unit plus a colonial light cavalry unit, then you will be. Do you need a. Let's kick out one infantry unit. So you should be recruiting six units. Good. Then you'll be ready to push down all Mexico from the north. Yeah. 
Let's recruiting my militia to go occupy some of these ports instead of ships. It's just because we need we need a lot of we got a lot of ships at sea, and I would rather have more places to um, to employ them. I think I still want one more militia. There he is. Let's occupy Portsmouth. Okay, let's go in and raid Rostock just a little bit more. They've got a couple of ships in Gdansk, but for the large part, they should be suffering economically. Well, I mean, a bit. They've still got lots of ports and so on here, which actually... Here at Iran, which is now ours. And here, let's start recruiting light galleys to penetrate the Med and start to raid some of these Austrian ports. Now you are a problem, although I can probably... I mean, this army, for the most part, can just get ready to try chase you down. And we are recruiting a turn's worth of infantry there anyway. Recruit some militia to guard Gibraltar. You are... Take a couple of turns to get into position. You're back up and raiding. Okay. Got some gold mines to build. More ports to upgrade. So you're all up together. Okay, so. Martino Angola. Spam Maldonado. Okay, so you. can go over to West Africa to go start kicking ass and taking names there. We've got this Spanish fleet to attack, which we will take. Not necessarily you. Listos para la acción. Admiral's flagship first rate. Do you have a? You already have a. Admiral. I think let's use you to go and attack the Spanish ships. Bring them into our fleet. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for ultimately some more naval action against the Spanish because we've got plenty to do before we hit end turn. So see you next time, everyone.